name is Srinivas. I am an aircraft engineer. I was hundred percent sure that I will drop out after the first term, but unfortunately, that has been four years, and and I'm still here meeting with you. Two initial one is I I'm a twelfth pass person. I don't have an undergrad degree, so I've been working for the past fifteen years. So this is my fifteenth year of working. So I thought it was the peak of COVID. I saw a Google ad where I could get an undergrad degree. I thought let's try worst case what we'll fail. So. and always and i wanted to analyze a file at my office and i failed at it i thought somehow this degree would whatever this thing is would help me you know analyze that file because i thought this was the answer to that for some i think these two things somehow coincided and that is why i joined the program surprisingly each term has been a nightmare which you know you can write a book about I have not missed. मतलब I have taken. I have not missed a term. There's never been a term where I have missed a course. मतलब completely missed. But each term has been a nightmare, epic proportions. Somehow miraculously it has worked out. I am not sure why. I like the data science courses. The programming courses came easily, so I just completed them. The data science courses I really wanted to do them very. मतलब I intentionally did the program very slow. I could have completed it faster. i wanted to go through the uh, because i did not have and i never went to university so i wanted to do the course now at my stage where i can do things at my own pace i can pick and choose what i want to do and what i don't want to do how i want to do everything i can you know, make that decision matlab more mature enough to make that decision i made the decision to do this courses in a certain flow where i really wanted this is the pace this is the best i i can teach the course after i work matlab complete the course is what i wanted to i think that's why the 21 f1 as a last you know definitely that's what i'm looking at i think uh, i'm the i'm the domain expert in my domain so uh, i'm just very uh, the working out on various ways where i can being the domain expert how i can take the uh, industry that i'm in forward apply the skills that i have matlab that i've gained through this program and since we are an industry that's very backward when it comes to you know data science and all uh, the aviation in general is a very you know protective industry where uh, we don't take we don't have anything to chance i think i'm not getting the right words so matlab uh, uh, the data science part can move forward so i'll be exploring areas you know in that areas where the i would definitely be applying the skills that i you know learned through during this program you know that would be one of the areas and mostly it would be like there are many unsolved problems that as i see there are many unsolved problems in aviation where uh, uh, the industry does not has not progressed in terms of technology although we are a very financially matlab each thing has a lot of finance and a lot of money involved but uh, we have not been able to progress in terms of technology in the year 2024 Yes, we still have many there are many processes which are still stuck in 1990s, 2000s, and all. Whatever I can move forward, I'll try to move forward and bring it to at least some levels. I think that's the areas I'm going to work on. Uh, the interesting part was, you know, each part of what was I have I was managing a large project, and you know, it was havoc and many things went bad. So I was just trying to correlate with what is being taught in the course in a physical sense. So I was managing an international team. We had a cross-cultural. Everything that was taught in the course was actually happening in real life, and that was fun. I mean, each part of the course I could actually relate to a practical situation, and that was the most important fun part. It's like yes, what is taught in SPG, I think most students might not appreciate it at that moment. Like, why do different cultures? Like a Japanese asked me to say sorry. I don't want to say it, but that's their way of dealing with it. Germans have a different way. I was able to correlate each week of the course with a practical, real-life scenario where, yes, what is taught in the course actually happens. Mm-hmm.